Hi friends, it's Deanna here today, and today we're going to be sewing up the stication dress. We're going to be sewing up the kids' estication dress, um, and we're going to be doing the cami option, the one with the little straps. Um, if you are making the kids' stication dress and you're doing a regular version, just like the one I'm wearing today, make sure you check out the adult um, uh, version of the estication video here on our channel where it goes through all the steps on how to construct a dress uh, with the regular bodice. So let's get started. <laughs> We're going to get started with the binding and we're going to create the binding here. So what we're going to do with both the front uh, neck binding and the back and strap binding is we're going to grab our binding. Uh, this is the wrong side of the binding. We're going to fold it wrong sides together first and steam. Then we're going to grab it, open it up and fold those edges, those raw edges towards the middle. Once we've got them fold towards the middle, then we're going to fold them again to create that binding piece. And here is my binding. So I'm going to do the same for this back and strap binding piece. All right, I'm going to grab my front bodice. I'm going to face it wrong side up here on my table and I'm going to grab my binding and find the half of my binding so I'm gonna find the half of my bodice I'm gonna place my binding right over my bodice right sides together well the right side of my binding I'm sorry to the wrong side of my bodice and we're gonna sew on that first crease the first crease now, I, you can sew this with a stretch stitch on your sewing machine. Um, sometimes some people like to do it with a stretch stitch on their sewing machine because I've, there's not as much bulk. But I like to do it with my serger and um, I find that I don't have an issue with bulk. But it's up to you. If you're going to do this on your sewing machine, make sure that you use a stretch stitch on here. Zigzag stitch, triple stitch, lightning bolt stitch, whatever kind of a stretch stitch that you like. I'm just going to go ahead and serge it on. All right, see how it's been sewn on there. Once it's been sewn, we're going to, you can steam this seam up towards the top, towards the binding, and I'm going to fold that binding over that first crease, and then I get over the second crease. And when I fold it over the second crease, it's going to go right over my bodice, my seam allowance, right over that seam allowance. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go top stitch it. You can top stitch with a stretch stitch on your sewing machine, or um, I will probably top stitch with a cover stitch. My cover stitch, okay, so a cover stitch kind of looks like a serger, but it's not. It's a uh, machine that um, does a top stitching stitch, which does two or three lines at the top, and then it finishes the back. So you can do it that way, or you can do a triple stitch on your sewing machine, or um, anything like that would work. While I'm over there, I'm also going to grab my back bodice. I'm gonna place it right side together here at the sides and sew that on. This is my cover stitch and I'm gonna show you what it looks like once it's done. Okay, so on the front, it's got that double stitching and then on the back, it's got that finished edge. All right, so there is our front binding and you can give it a good steam to kind of bring it all together making sure it's all nice and even now to the back we're going to go ahead and match up those uh, side seams and mark your back point I'm gonna grab my um, binding and find the middle of the binding and then I'm gonna match up that back point with the back of the binding turning it wrong side out. There's the dot right there. And the right side of the binding is matched up to that dot right there. Well, not dot, but the um, back point. Now, if you look at your binding strap and go from that middle point and you go to the first dot, 
this first dot right here is going to be about an inch away from the side seam here and we're going to mark that point there and match up the edges here without pulling without stretching nothing so this just sits nicely again we'll go this way that's the middle point of your binding where the fold is and that first dot is right here which is about an inch away from the edge now what we're going to do is we're going to go sideways we've got that first dot here and then we're going to go to where the next dot is on my binding um, pattern piece and I'm going to mark it so it's marked right there so I know that that point is going to come to the strap right here so that means that I'm going to stretch evenly to fit the binding along the arm area it's just a little stretch okay and we're going to do the same for the other side so let me show you again all right, so here's my side where my arm area. This is the top of the binding. Here's my first dot right here. This is my first dot right there. Match it up. And, well, let's put this binding straight up. First dot, match up the second dot right here and mark it. And that second dot is gonna go right on my binding here, my front binding which means now it's a little bit, this is tighter than the bodice arm area. So you're just gonna stretch it out a little bit so that it fits. And what it does is it keeps that arm area taut so it's not just gaping uh, once the dress is finished. So now we're gonna go ahead and sew this one on just like we did our front binding where we're going to sew over that first crease again i'm going to do my serger but um, if you want to do a stretch stitch on it you can do any kind of stretch stitch on your sewing machine all right so now we're going to grab our binding and we're going to do the same thing that we did for our neckline where we're going to fold um, steam the uh, seam allowance up towards the binding and then we're gonna fold our binding down the first crease, down the second crease, right over our seam allowance here. Remember, since you stretched here a little bit, you're still gonna have to stretch that binding out a tiny bit as you're folding it over, so it'll fit nicely. Now, as you get here to the edge where the binding meets, what you're going to do is you're going to actually fold the binding over itself and then fold over and fold so you're creating the binding again like remaking that binding because you're going to sew this closed this binding closed here and that's going to become your strap so i like to go ahead and fold this binding here and then i'll come back up here and fix it show you all right so this binding is closed here and where it comes right here where the um, uh, strap is, you just fold it right over the strap. Make sure you kind of stretch it out a little bit so it's nice and even. And this is what it'll look like here. And here's what it looks like on the back. And we're gonna do that for the other side as well. Okay, so I'm folding this up, this crease right here, that outer crease, and then I'm going to fold it on itself again. Whoop. Ah! And then fold it in. And here, when it comes to the strap, just folding it right over that strap right here. So you'll have your little bodice. You're gonna go top stitch all the way around and you'll have your strap binding here that you also 
continue to top stitch all the way down because then we're going to go ahead and uh, sew the binding, the straps onto the back of the bodice. As I'm working on that, I'm also going to go ahead and grab my skirts. I am doing the knee length, uh, so I'll have two tiers. So I'm gonna grab that first tier and face them right sides together and match those raw edges at the sides and sew them right sides together. And uh, second tier, I'm gonna do the same with that one. All right, so it is recommended um, to be to use clear elastic at the gathers. So after I sew these on, I'm going to put in a basting stitch here to gather my waist to the size of my bodice. And if you want to add clear elastic, you can zigzag stitch it on after you do the gathers to the uh, skirt, or you can attach it as you're attaching it together. You can also gather with clear elastic, which I'm not doing today, but we do have a video here on our channel on how I gather with clear elastic. Um, and that gives us stability. I'm making a small size. It's a kid size, a little kid size. So I don't think the skirt is gonna be too heavy. I think it'll be fine. Um, and the fabric is not super heavy, but the heavier the fabric, if you're making a maxi, um, the bigger sizes, if it's too heavy, it might start pulling on your bodice and make it droop. So that's why the clear elastic is nice to do at the waist. So what I'm going to do, I'm just gonna sew those sides. I'm gonna top stitch the binding and then I'm gonna put in a, um, I'm, doing, I'm gonna put in a um, um, gathering stitch at the top of the first tier and then at the top of the second tier. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do a straight long basting stitch on my sewing machine to gather them because then I'm going to gather this to fit, sew it on, gather this to fit, sew it on, hem, and we'll be basically done. As I'm putting in that basting stitch, I upped my tension to a seven and a half. And what that does is it gathers my fabric a little bit for me already. You can see right here how it's already kind of gathered a little bit. And then I leave a long tail. And then return my machine to its original tension. <laughs> I am once again using my cover stitch for this step. But as I mentioned earlier, you can use um, serger, I mean, a uh, a stretch stitch on your sewing machine. All right, it's looking so adorable and coming together. So on the back, um, they do have a marking, strap marking here on our pattern piece. So you can follow that. Like I don't have my little model with me. This is for my little niece and she lives out of town. So I will have to just follow this marking to sew the strap on, but you could um, try it on your model first and make sure that it fits her correctly before sewing. Um, if you wanna make it tighter, um, if you wanna cross them, that would be super cute. That is all up to you. I'm just hoping that they're gonna fit. If they don't, then I'll have to have my sister um, take them off and put them back on later. Um, okay, so I've got my skirt now, and it's already kind of pretty gathered because I put in that, um, I upped my tension and it kind of gathered it enough. So I just need to pull just a tiny bit more to make sure that it is going to be exactly the width that I want. And stretch out those, and even out those gathers so that they're nice and even all the way. And some people like to actually put in two basting stitches or even three to get it really, really nice and even. I find that with, I don't know, I, I guess I've gathered a lot. <laughs> and so I'm confident on my gathers, but it does uh, do better when you add more, especially if you have a big piece that you need to gather, then adding um, a, another basting stitch to the mix thus make it a little bit more even but now that they're pretty even I'm going to match up the half I marked my half points of my skirt so I'm going to fit in my skirt right into my bodice and I'm going to match up those half points in those side seams first and then and it's right sides together and then I'm going to even up my gathers and clip them, really try to get really evenly, and then sew them on. And I'm gonna sew them on with my serger. Oh, 
I guess I didn't mark the back, but it's right here. And you can sew them on with a stretch stitch on your sewing machine. Again, I'm using a serger. And this is when you can also add that clear elastic if you want. So as I put in the uh, gathers on, I'm making sure that they're nice and even and they look good. Now, I will say that you can go ahead and sew that on first. It's gonna be adorable. But um, because I'm using clips, and clips are really kind of is easy to just maneuver, like I can move it around and they're not falling off, I sometimes like to go ahead and uh, place this second tier on, and that way they're both ready to sew at the same time. So I'm doing the same thing for the second tier, lining up the uh the gathers and clipping them right sides together and sewing and i'm also going to go ahead and hem the bottom of my skirt All right, friends, we are done. Look at this cute dress. It turned out so super sweet. I am so excited to give this one to my little niece. I think she's gonna love it. Now, my little niece has twin sisters and I found this fabric right here. It's watermelon. So this one is a um, pineapple and I found watermelon. So I think I'm going to print off the little size for my nieces, my twin nieces, and hopefully I have enough of this fabric to make them a another uh, of these in their size. So I'm super excited about it because I just love it. Perfect for summer. It is so cute. And even once like um, it starts getting a little bit cooler, it will be such a cute transitional piece with like a little sweater or something like that. It is adorable. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please come and like, share, subscribe. If you haven't, go grab the pattern, come back and sew it up with me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.